Hi, this is my next installment of you watching paint dry. No, seriously. This is uh, my um, first new painting in Painter's latest offering, 2020. I've been using this program since it was 2.0, which is a long time, but about 25 years ago. Anyway, um, this is the latest one, and thought I would demo some of its very exciting new paint tools. Chief among them, their oil paint brushes. And uh, this is a painting I had started oh, a few years ago while working on a Celestial Season project. Um, I've always been a big fan of Martin Heed, uh, landscape, well, I guess he wasn't a landscape painter per se. He's more of a naturalist painter in the 1860s. Always admired his work. He's a good friend of Frederick Church's. And uh, they traveled together to different places around the world. Painted hummingbirds and landscapes and chief among them uh, these magnolia paintings that are like his most famous work, I think. And um, I've always been a great lover of these magnolia paintings that he did. It was like a whole series. Did about uh, five or six versions of it in different color schemes. And they were just knocked down gorgeous. I just loved them. So I thought they'd be a great, a great thing to use in a kind of an homage composition to uh, a uh, painting I was working on for Celestial. And it really started out as a pencil drawing like this. And I put it into the context of the uh, design. And I basically copied that painting right there on the screen in front of you um, compositionally and uh, conceptually. I just reworked everything and kind of took different things and redrew them because I really love that painting and uh, made it work for my piece with Celestial. And uh, that worked great. But I thought this would be a great thing to revisit with these new paint, these oil paint brushes. Because they're just so phenomenal. These paintbrushes just are amazing. I don't know how they do it, but they they blend color and push paint around in much the same manner as uh, the real thing. I got this Surface Studio last year, this machine with the uh, angle adjustment feature and being able to paint right on the glass has really been a great, great thing to uh, to use for actually painting and drawing. Because before I would just do pencil drawings and then scan them in. Um, but with being able to do this, you know, kind of eliminates a step for some things, and lets me do this great thing of actually oil painting. in a digital envi work environment. It will never replace the real thing, but in this fast-paced world we live in, it's nice to be able to, to achieve some of these naturalistic effects and working methods 
of the old in the new. I just opened a jar of linseed oil, kind of leave it over there, and it just smells like a paint studio then. <laughs> now... From a visual standpoint, my goodness, you can just get right in on it in a way that my uh, old eyes kind of enjoy. <laughs> Where you can just zoom back and take it all in. It's one of the pitfalls of working digitally is that you zoom in too far, too close for your own good, and you end up putting in details that really don't matter much. So you see me reaching down, grabbing different brushes, uh, and it's basically the same filbert kind of brush, at different scales and different uh, bristle counts and opacities that uh, let you do different things like blending the paint or adding detail, a little harder edged look. Well, that's all for now. Talk to you later.